teaching medicine. <laughs> Pastor, you still look, madam. <laughs> How many boys you born? <laughs> Two. Yeah, you have experience. <laughs> Those boys are wicked, though. When they suck breast, eh, they suck like vacuum extractor. In the morning, the woman will be dizzy. And like me, now I was the last born. I finished the dinner. My mother could throw it from forward backwards. <laughs> Because the breast was singing, I surrender, I surrender. Oh. Ah, Dr. Boki, <laughs> I'm going to preach a message titled, The Prison is in the Mind. We are looking at limitless. But the real limitations you have in life is in your mind. The Bible says, Jealously guard your heart. Out of it spring the issues of life. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. We will take our bearing from Romans chapter 12 verse 2. It says, be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. So if you were limited before, and you are becoming limitless, it is by the renewal of your mind. Now, the, there are key issues I want to address concerning Africans and Christianity. We sing and worship God more than any other race in the world. Proportionately, we give more money in church than the Europeans and Americans. We pray more than any other race in the world. We build bigger churches than any other race in the world. But anytime you see a black man on television, he's either carrying a gun or he's carrying a plate begging for food. How come our Christianity has not translated to reality and development? I've hardly seen any rich prayer warrior if you like, get angry. I don't come, I don't come. <laughs> John chapter 1 verse 13. Pastor, I hope you won't be angry with me. There are various, several things we do in Pentecostalism that are based on African thought processes which are wrong. John chapter 1 verse 13 It says we are children Yet, let me start from verse 10 Yet to all who did receive him To those who believed in his name He gave them the right to become children of God Children of God Children born not of natural descent Nor of human decision Or a husband's will But born of God That is to say I am born of God Somebody, the former secretary to Bayelsa State Government, was trying to was uh, discussing with my daughter because my daughter is the administrator of our school. When she finished discussing with my daughter, he said, "A pokey vomit this one." So this is a replica of Doctor Apoki. So why is it that Africans are behaving like goats when our father is a lion? It's a tragedy for your father to introduce you as a lion, then you behave like a goat. It says we are born of God. We are sons. It says ye all are sons of God. That is there is no woman in the sight of God. We have male sons of God. And female sons of God. Ish. Male son. Aisha. Female son of God. When a man has hair in his ears. The gene for having hair in the ears is in the Y chromosome. So, if a man has hair in his ears, his sons will have hair in their ears. Because the chromosome, in fact, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word became flesh and dwelt among men. That word is called sperma. It's not logos or rema. It's sperma. It's the nature of God that was embedded in the womb of Mary. And because blood does not cross the placental barrier, the mother's blood does not mix with the child's blood. Food, glucose, amino acids, whatever, are transported by cyclic AMP, 
cyclic adenosine monophosphate. You know, this is go school. So the blood that Jesus shed for you is the blood of God. God sacrificed himself to set you free from sin. So, if you are born of the spirit, if you go to John chapter 3, 5 to 8, he said, he who is born of the spirit is like the wind. He said, you will see the motion and the effect of the wind, but you cannot understand him. Listen, if somebody can explain you, you are not born again. Somebody went to block the street, an assemblies of God pastor, I went to block my street. He said, I do blood money. He said, you don't do miracles, you don't run a church, you are running a school. How come you are rich that I do blood money? Even my wife cannot explain how I give her money. As long as somebody can explain you, you have been limited to his level. In fact, my belief, let me just tell you, do you know I've never been to a Bible school? But I lecture in Bible schools. I had P7 in English, but I've written more than 40 books. I was showing, I was showing um, the person who came to carry me, look at, flip through this book material. Flip through, then bring it back to me. Everything I have written there is in capital letters. I don't write with small letters. If I write with small letters, I cannot understand what I have wrote, written. So, for a man to be writing with capital letters, with the worst handwriting in the world, uh, come and add doctor's handwriting, and be writing books, you don't, do you understand me? Is that even me, I cannot explain myself. Stand up and tell somebody, don't look at me like that. <laughs> after this, don't sit down here, say after this program. I will shock you. I will choke you. Say, so look me well now. This is a raw material. God is working on me. I will come out different from what you know. Tell your neighbor, look me well. Caterpillar no resemble butterfly. You are a spirit. When I hear you people pray, I saw a, a billboard. War against destiny, destiny killer, kill Satan. No, listen to me. Can we reason together? Yes, okay, God himself, he never kills Satan. And you, if you be spirit and you be God picking, you are the son of God, you are a child of God. How would God allow a junior spirit to kill you? Yes, I discovered that I just saw women wearing bonnets. I thought they had joined the Ladura. <laughs> Different colors of bonnets. I didn't know it is this area that they are packing inside here. <laughs> when they suffer, so carry <laughs> Mama, don't no vex. Eh? That your food was good. Cook better one tomorrow. <laughs> Any man shining with my light, me shine with my light. If I am born of, if I'm born of God and I'm born of His Spirit, and the Bible tells me, know ye not that ye are gods? How can the ancestral spirits of my father worry me? When I get sense for Africa, to, Pastor, don't mind me. Even if I spoil market for you, after have to repair them. <laughs> no, listen to me. You will say ancestral spirits are worrying you. The people who went and killed Jesus Christ, they got home safely. 
The people that nailed Jesus to the cross, God didn't kill them with thunder. They got home safely. So what is it that your father has done that the sin, your father didn't finish paying, they are coming to bring it to you as carry over. What's wrong with your brain? Can I talk to you? Because if we don't remove these things from your brains, you will spend the first 21 days of the year praying stupid prayers. When you make you cross over to take over, take which, which person you want to take over? <laughs> what do you put for that? Only take over. <laughs> Germany, Germany. My son is in Germany. Germany killed three million Jews. Ancestral spirit, not worry them. Now you will come from a home room with Queen Sunan spirit. <laughs> Somebody say, Lord, change my mind. Free me from the African prison. Sit down. Am I making sense? I'm a spirit. Can spirit press spirit? Which has never pressed me. Because our demons, our witches in our area are postgraduate witches. You know what I'm talking about. Why are you pretending as if you are not from my area? Your witches in rivers and, um, and Abia, they are kindergarten spirits. You will not drive your car in the morning, touch your engine, it is on, it is hot. But which has not pressed me because spirits don't oppress spirits. Moreover, junior spirits expel spirits from our school, they expel them. They were expelled from our home now in heaven. <laughs> you don't know. Because even as I'm here, I'm, I'm a mystic. I'm here. I'm seated with Christ in heavenly places. Can you go ahead? Can, no. Does it, ever, does it ever enter your head that I am here, but I'm seated with Christ in heavenly places? He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. Am I talking... Somebody asked me whether I'm Illuminati. I said I'm more illuminated than Illuminati. Whoa! I'm a spirit. It's, I'm not exciting you. I'm a spirit. How can... How many of you know MC Olumo? In Lagos. National Union of Road Transport Workers, or GA. How can a junior Agbero gang start intimidating... MC Olumo's son that came from US. No, are you people stupid in Africa? You worship in this place. Then somebody who meets on top of a tree will be oppressing you. Your head is your head correct? No, mama. We are worshiping in this beautiful place with electricity, with um, powerful sound system. Then you think a witch who meets on top of a tree. I have prayer houses near my house that disturb my sleep. Start to pray now, start to pray. This is when they are meeting, 12 o'clock in the night. <laughs> How can you have your father as the head of DSS and you are afraid of a thug? So that's the first thing you need to disabuse of your mind. That you are the, as black people, that you are, you are the only people limiting yourselves based on your poor understanding. The Bible says, when the word was preached to them, it said those who lacked understanding. You need to have understanding. And understanding is the ability to know the essence of information and be ready to apply it. So until you understand you're being born again, until you understand you're being a child of God, any demon can intimidate you. You'll still be keyed and tied. How many of you know have heard of Pavlov's experiment? Pavlov had a dog and he was talking about condition reflex. And he chained the dog to the wall. And then he would bring food, he would ring a bell. Then the dog will come forward. The dog will reach a line. Then they will place the, the food is there. The dog will eat and go back. So went back. Every day did the dog, did the dog. One day, the dog. The chain was loosened from the wall. And the food was placed a little bit outside where Pavlov used to put it. 
the dog was moving towards the food, but the sound of the chain still in the ears is still perceiving that he was still chained. I don't know if you understand. But he did not know the truth. The sound and the statistics show that there is still a chain around his neck. But the limitation to the wall has been removed. The dog got to where it is used to and stopped. But the food was there. There is a destiny waiting for you ahead. But you are hearing the sound of your cut off mark. Your cut off mark, you wanted to read medicine, but they gave you biochemistry. So you are thinking a medical doctor is better than you. But when COVID 19 came, those who studied microbiology were more important than those who were surgeons. That you did not go to university, you are thinking that you are less than somebody who went to university. It is because colonial mentality has changed your brain. How many of the petrol stations in Port Harcourt are owned by petroleum engineers? One of the richest young men in my, in my school is Moody Africa. He's a tailor. How many of you know Moody Africa? When people were going to read medicine, he went for tailoring. Today, a street is named after him in Lagos. Street is not named after me, even in Ugeli. I know a mechanic who, when he is repairing vehicles, the day I got there, two mobile policemen were guarding him. Mechanic. Two mobile policemen were guarding mechanic. Me, MBBS Ibada, MPA Del Sonia Mama, one of Abba. Boy Scout did not follow me. Boy Scout. So, am I talking to somebody? The man that came to carry me from Ugili, I asked him, what did you study? He said, management. What are you doing? He said, I'm driving Uber. I mean, bold. I said, no. Can I teach you how to become a millionaire? Will you be able to pay me? He said, he doesn't have money. I said, you are not driving bold. You are a transporter. Until you change your mind from being a bolt driver, you will not be happy doing what you are doing. And you will not become an employee pronoun. An employee pronoun, you are self-employed, but you are building a future. Yes, sir. Now they follow me, so. So I told him, if you drive this boat and you can save a hundred thousand naira a month, save it for two years. That's 2.4 million. And you belong to a cooperative. You are entitled to a loan of 7.2 million. Even if it's 50, 50,000, and you can take a loan of 3 point something, you buy another boat, give to somebody else, and you are earning an income twice what you used to earn. You are still in the cooperative. You will buy two other boat taxes. By the time you have five, you get an office. Am I talking to somebody? And then you'll be regulating your transport business. So he's feeling frustrated that he's not working in Shell. He's not working in a mobile. He's feeling frustrated. But he does not know that what is in his hand is more than what he's thinking of himself. Did it make sense? Somebody bring a calculator. Take your phone. Please sit down. Don't be just stand up. Don't worry. You'll stand up. You'll be tired though. Take a calculator. 250. Did they enter? 250 times 40 times 20 times 12 times 10. How much is that? 24 million. Do you want to be a millionaire? You. Come. You want to be a millionaire? Very easy. If you can get 40 people to buy something of 250 naira from you every day for 20 days for one year times 10 years is 24 million. Tell, explain to me why you are poor. Pastor, uh, Mama, 
Make I find your trouble eh? If you wait for this people offering, eh, you will die of poverty. This people, they, they have their own problems. So they never solve. They are your own. They will come solve. I know how much might be paying for this all. These people. If you get Igbo people plenty for this all, if they, they fall under anointing, they, they hold their pocket to shut their back. And if, if they follow you come from assemblies, if they follow you come from assemblies, your own is finished. Because they can cry easily, but their pocket, mm, daddy, chim, chimo, chimo, la, ba, 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 ba. So let some, somebody come and somebody starts deceiving you that you are mommy, mommy, they will mummify you. You must think. How many people can, if you now have 80 people buying something of 250 from you, in five years you will have 24 million. If you have 100 people buying 250, in two and a half years you have 24 million. If you increase the price, you will have 48 million. So as I stand here, I don't depend on your honorarium. If I depend on your honorarium, I will be poor. Because when I'm going now, you give me one envelope, say, may the Lord go with you as if I came with Satan. <laughs> and you will not bring the one that I will send you offering. You will go and select one man with face like my own. I come and say, it's one wicked dickin to give me the offering. <laughs> so, as I stand here, I sell eggs. The fowl, I will, the, the chickens I will sell in April, in Easter. I've already started rearing them after selling the ones of December. I sell foul sheet. Somebody wanted foul sheet. And uh, I told her 200 naira a bag. A certificate that cannot feed you is tissue paper. So stop carrying brown envelopes with coat and body odor all over the place. Carry brown envelope with coat. Are you doing a cow with body odor? <laughs> On what jaw? Don't look at me like that. You went a whim. So I sell. <laughs> I sell. My brother did it. I sell foul shit. One woman asked me to bring them um, twenty-five. I be how many bags of foul shit? I took that two hundred naira. As I woke up in the morning, when I wake up, I don't get inspiration of where demons are. I don't, my problem is not demons. There are more demons in India, but the economy is better than that of Nigeria. I heard, if I will not chop, it goes shit. I said, no. He said, if I will feed deer, if I will shit supposed to deer. I said, yes, father. So I called the woman and said, Madam, foul shit don't, foul feet don't deal. So foul shit don't also deal. I sell plantain suckers. There was a year I sold plantain suckers of 2.5 million. My wife cooks, my wife is a nurse. Don't let your certificate become a limitation. Your certificate is not a sentence. That you are sentenced to be a biochemist. Sentenced to be a philosopher. Who oh, you want philosophers from Nigeria? Buhari or Lai Mohammed? Are you crazy? <laughs> Imagine people who want to borrow 200 million to buy mosquito net. Are they not, are they not mad? How much do you, does it take to build a mosquito net factory? They want to borrow 200 million dollars to build mosquito net factory. How much does it take to build a mosquito net factory? Are those the people you want to philosophize? No. Put philosophy down. Develop philosophy of making money. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. That's why I wrote a book, Money is an Idiot. It has no religion. If a Muslim knows how to make money more than you, he will become richer than you. Speak in tongues, fall and break chairs. In fact, most of those who break chairs don't can't buy the chairs.
Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I sell, my wife sells rice. My canteen gives me 40,000 naira a day. Times five days, 200,000. Times a month, 800,000. Times a term, 2.4 million. Times a year, 5.2 million. That's only canteen. So, I don't depend on their school fees. It was because my mind was renewed by a scripture. Second Kings chapter 4, from verse 1 to 7 in the Amplified Bible. He said, what have you of sale value in your house? What have you of sale value in your house? If you are the only one that is always buying, you will remain a poor person. Okay? You, you are playing with... If I snack you now, you know get sense. This picking, when you won't go up, I say you need money. And they talk of money, they play with picking. You never see picking before. Yeah. Now your husband. Now your own husband. You never see picking before. Do you know how much, how much school fees is in Port Harcourt? Not just school, 300,000. Think by shaking him. <laughs> if you die as a poor man, this boy will spit on your grave. I'm a very terrible human being. And I hate people. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, but they talk of money, they shake picking. That's why you girls, eh, I'm always angry with you. You are carrying doll, baby. Your mates are carrying computers and books. You are carrying doll, baby. You want to be mama? Mama. You get teddy bear. Foolish girls. You get yash. You get breast. Can't get five feet. If the wife can't tell you. Idiot. You get Taylor when go so you. Choke. The ash where your mama carry, which money you give her? In fact, the bigger the ash, the more the liability. All this one, you people are twerking now. The shock absorbers are getting weak. By the time you reach my age bracket, 63, the thing will they pull for ground. Pastor, I bet no mind me, you don't invite me already. Oh, Shavi, they don't mind you. Don't tell them I'm your brother so that they won't attack you. <laughs> you are limited by your understanding. And you are also limited by the following factors. Number one, religion. Religion. The woman with the issue of blood was not supposed to come outside. Am I right? Yes, she was not supposed to make contact with Jesus Christ. But you see, she set her agenda. She said, if I can touch the helm of his garment, I will be made whole. He, she did not consult Peter. Every person was touching Jesus Christ, pushing against him. But the Bible says, Jesus said, someone deliberately touched me. You will marry an Osama bin Laden, an idiot, if you don't set an agenda of the kind of wife or husband you want to marry. The devil will offer you many things that can limit you. In fact, society celebrates those who they have captured by their thought processes. Only those who can set themselves free and be abnormal as myself that can be limitless. The life I'm living now is the life I set the agenda when I was 23. In fact, my father set the first part at the age of four in a mud house. He said, you will be a medical doctor in a mud house with fowls sleeping under my bed. And I became a medical doctor, worked in the same hospital where my father used to come and collect refuse. My father set an agenda, deliberate agenda. Say my Peking, Oyibo when I know if he speaks, speak him. We I could not take this name, take it dead. I was sitting down with the son of the former minister of finance discussing. Because I had an agenda. If you don't have an agenda for your life, any person can limit you, any circumstance can limit you. 
So have you written down what you want to become? Do you know it? When they came to my company, I live on half an acre. I don't like neighbor telling me remove your car. I don't have tenants. I live on half an acre. Because I wanted space right from childhood. I told myself when I'm 40, I will stop practicing medicine. As the children of Israel spoke in the wilderness, that's how they became. I told myself I'm going to have a global family with grandchildren all over the world. And it will soon happen. So what have you told yourself? What have you written down? By the time you set an agenda for yourself, it determines your decisions and your direction. It will determine the wife you will marry. I deliberately married my wife. I chose her. I made her to read nursing. Deliberately married her. Because I was going to be a medical director. Don't let your erection give you direction, young man. All this Davido and Two-Face two Edibia whose boxers can impregnate a woman. All those stupid boys you listen to their songs. That's why I sip my alcohol. <laughs> Fool. I'm so sorry for your generation. Your brains have been taken over by idiots. And if you're a cultist here, you're a stupid person. They should bring you after this. Let me slap your face. For your mate to be controlling you. Did you enter? So, religion can limit you. Jesus healed on the Sabbath. Religion is a major challenge to me. When I was called to preach the first day, my pastor said I didn't go to Bible school, so he would not be part of the team that would go and preach. Today I lecture in Bible schools. I lecture Anglican bishops. When Archbishop Kate reviewed his book, launched his book, I came to review the book here. I preached in all the big Anglican churches here, the one at Rumo Biokani, the one at uh, Rumo Koro, all over. My pastor said I was not called. Even if I was not called, I had a missed call. <laughs> and I called back. <laughs> who, here, who, who don't hear call? Tell me who hear call. Who now won't deceive? God will just say, Dr. Pokey, I am Colette D. I am Colette D. Now mind we for, Pastor, don't look at Now mind we suppose, don't look at me like that. I am Colette D. For who call you? <laughs> me, I had a missed call. Then I called back. Then God said, yes, I Colette D. <laughs> but I'm here. I'm preaching well. Am I talking to somebody? Really? Number, arrow number two, relationship. Relationship. I used to tell them, if you live near a madman who is singing Ungongo Jurejuna Moto, Jurejuna Moto, Ungongo, Ungongo, after 20, <laughs> after 21 days, when you do wash cloth, you can't discover, say, you do, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> all this all this yeah yeah song when I know so how the old man did they know all this song now I bow away they near my house so. if I won't sleep now then song they will keep me awake so when you relate with stupid people stupidity is more infectious than Omicron virus when you relate with poor people you become poor you become the next poor man when you relate with people better than you, you would, that's why I went to good schools. That's why I went to FGC Worry. 
I schooled with Jaja Wachiko's children, Ogbobinian's children, um, Pamela Jack, all these rich people's children. And when they were carrying me in their Mercedes Benz cars, when they closed the door, boom, I said, one day I go buy you. <laughs> and I bought a Mercedes. And I had an aspiration. This year, select your friends. I, uh, let me tell you, I don't have any friend that is above 50. All my friends are 40 years and below. Because old men will make you feel, you know, see the white dress. Now my lawyer make the dress. Old men will make you feel older. They're always complaining of waist pain. Always complaining of uh, the good old days. Waiting good for those days. So I make friends with the young people. They stimulate me. Daddy, this your phone is not good. This one is not that. This one is not that. They stimulate me. You are, you, are, you are not dressing well. Your trousers are too long. It should be slim a little bit. You are getting what I'm saying. <laughs> but my wife, I don't know what they worry about. I go dress like this. They get swag like this. You know, even say, honey, you are looking good. All these church women, and something they worry you now. <laughs> something they worry you now. No, you now won't go ever. Yo, 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 your husband dress well like this. Give him a kiss. Mia. The thing, the thing elongates life. Uh, I, I don't know how to show the love. Show it now. If I die, eh, you cry, I open coffee, slap you. <laughs> so, relate with those who are progressive. Relate with those who can stretch you. Relate with those you can look up to. Don't relate with those that will look down on you and at the same time that you are better than. Relate. Am I talking to somebody? My coming to a bar to the east changed my mentality. When I saw tall story buildings owned by my mates, people younger than I was, I had it in mind that it is possible. It is possible. So, relationship. If you relate with Opa, she will go back to her gods and to her people. But if you follow Naomi, purpose can I can you can you take this? I don't know if somebody can take this on. Uh, I'm sorry, I want to say this. The purpose of God is superior to his word. It's strange. God can use a harlot that is more determined and willing to enter his kingdom than a righteous man who is fearful and doubtful. Rahab. If you follow the genealogy of Jesus Christ, there are a lot of yeah, yeah people. Rubbish people. But God needed them. The harlot had accommodation. The harlot had a rope she was using to climb down to do night duty. If not, where did she get rope from? If I come to your house, I go see rope. I go see somewhere tie and boot. And so God preferred that harlot. Surprisingly, girls in the street marry earlier than girls in the church. Surprisingly. Because girls in the church will be doing Mary Amaka with dirty hair, dirty fingernails, and dirty teeth. You won't even, you won't even know how to walk. You'll be walking like a kiosk. The girl in the street knows that there is competition. So she, she understands that. <laughs> Even if, even if her legs are bent, she will not walk like multiplication sign. <laughs> she, she, will, she, she will develop a system of turning it to camel walk. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? The next thing is regimentation. Anytime you live a life of salary, you are regimented. You go to work, 7.30 you wake up, you close, you come back, you go, you come, you go, you come, until you reach 60. When you are useless to yourself, they throw you away. If, <laughs> if you are earning, <laughs> earning 40,000 naira a month, 
as a private school teacher, you have no future. Because 40,000 times 12 times 10 is 4.8 million. No, 40,000 times 12 is 480,000. Times 10 years is 4.8 million. You go feed buy a house. You go feed marry from there. You go marry. Credit. <laughs> Not now, we really system. When somebody will become grandmother for a house, they never pay in bright price. You can't use NEPA electricity like that without meter. Regimentation. You go to work, you come back, you go to work, you come back, you go to work. That's why you are called civil servant, civilized slave. If they tell you to, if they want to make you stupid, they will give you coat and tie and driver. Driver, you cannot pay. If they want to make you more stupid, they will give you a house to stay that you cannot build. Then they will give you title. Director General. Who are you directing when you don't have direction for yourself? I saw a professor recently. I gave a lecture in a, a university on Wednesday. Science and finance. And I was telling them how they could convert science to finance. And somebody who schooled in Howard University. Howard was built after Harvard. The man came to Harvard and they were making fun of him. He wanted to build a university, a, a building in memory of his son. They treated him casually. And they told him, the man said, you know how much to build this building? They told him, he said, I can build. Then he went home and built a university, Howard University. This man schooled in Howard. Had so much knowledge. Had ideas. He said, I'm getting old now. I can't practicalize those things. It's a tragedy. That's why at 40, I sold my hospital and I stopped practicing medicine. Even if God did not call me, I would have still sold it. Because how can I be relating with only people who have pain? <laughs> and I like, you see, I like laughter. Chidi Okorafo, when I preach with him at Obehi, Chidi will preach, the people will cry. Me, I don't have that time. <laughs> Chidi Okorafo will preach, the people will get born again and again. Me, I, only once born again is enough. <laughs> because if God look our sin, none of us will make heaven. Chidi will preach and preach and preach. People when don't get born again, even Dicking go, the answer on that call again. What is this? Then all they go start they cry. When I come, they will come, they laugh. <laughs> the problem in Nigeria is too hard for people to come to church and start frowning. What is it? medical practice because I will have to wait until somebody is sick before I go get money. Which kind of nonsense is that? And they always come with either cry or shouting or pain. No! And what annoyed me about medicine, if Osundu is supposed to be playing, you know Philip Osundu, that man that gave me hypertension. Now when Nigeria won't play penalty shootout, now they'll come knock, go, 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 doctor. They will come and call me. I can't go there. When I go there, when did the sickness start? Obidoro before the civil war. Something is wrong with you. <laughs> sickness started before the civil war. Is it now that Barcelona is playing man, real man, that you know you will come to hospital? Then I will tell him your money is this. He say he doesn't have money. Now he will come back next week. See me. <laughs> I don't know if somebody is in my position. You are in a situation you are not having your freedom. You are in a situation you are not living your life to the fullest. Nowadays, I wake up at my own time. I go to work when I want to go to work. I preach when I want to go and preach. I live in an eight-bedroom house with ten toilets, with solar panels. You know, sometimes we get too used to suffering it is even in our songs when we sing, I prayed and I prayed and Jesus answered me. I prayed, I prayed. Now say so your papa wicked. I will soon go, I will soon go. Pastor, I will soon go. You know, mama. You know, suffering.
suffering, eh? Suffering can become addictive, particularly to Christians. I will come from, I will come from, when I finish preaching, I will come. Then my wife will tell me, my wife is waiting, generator no grease tattoo. <laughs> With sweat. Then I will speak in tongues, then I will pull it. Crack! Crack! The thing will start. It will start with epilepsy. Go, go, go. Then I will tell myself, I am man of God. As I'm climbing up. Because sometimes you need to free yourself. As I'm climbing up, Nepal will restore electricity. I will run down and off it. These people are wicked, though. Then I will go and, because in my house, eh, now my wife, they control me. My wife controls me. Mama, now my wife, they control me. And I saw now they control us. You know, go grow. <laughs> when I preach, finish, now my wife, they analyze my message. I fit go home, now I go, come tell you. Why you bring this kind of funny? I didn't make any point, sir. If you tell you. <laughs> Give me a hand. Now. <laughs> For my house, eh, if you know, if I know bath, my wife no agree. Give me food. <laughs> no, I'm I'm a woman rapper. <laughs> the Anglican canon, Anglican priest went for a conference. Still not. They said, uh, if your wife is controlling you, stand up. All of them stood up. One canon, short canon, didn't stand up. His wife was sitting behind him, very fat. They say, Canon, what, uh, your, you mean your wife does not control you? He said, uh, Canon, then why didn't you stand up? He said, I wanted to stand up, but she told me to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> so, I will go and start bathing so that I can eat. As I'm bathing, electricity will go off. The whole place will be dark. Then I will use time to find my phone. Then finish bathing, summarize the team very quickly, submit my paper, then I will go. As I'm pulling the generator, crack, 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 the rope will just cut. <laughs> As the rope will cut, I will now call the generator boy. The phone will ring three, four times. Then he won't answer again. Do you blame him nine o'clock in the night? Now, is it because of my poverty? So I started buying solar panels and batteries. So today I have 24 hours electricity. I don't pray for NEPAC. There are some prayers that poverty will eliminate from your life. I mean, money will eliminate from your life. Am I talking to somebody? Just make money. Make too much money, but not yahoo yahoo. Make money. Some prayers will leave you. Some you will go away. And you'll be free. Okay. So, regimentation, routine, and regularity. Do the same thing. Pull up bed. Say that. Do the same thing. Do the same thing. Do the same thing. Finally, so that you won't think I'm not normal. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. It says, He... Who is able to do immeasurably above what you can think or imagine? Listen, it's Africans are asking, but we are not thinking. As far as your eyes can see, it's not a distance, it's, a, it's an imagination. It is a creation you are ready to walk towards. As far as your eyes can see, lift up your eyes from where you are. Lift up your eyes from one room and see yourself being a landlord. Lift up your eyes from being a single lady and being a mother of children for a rich man. Lift up your eyes from being a school teacher to becoming a school proprietor. Lift up your eyes from where you are to where you want to be. And then tomorrow I will teach you how you can get there. Lift up your eyes. Many of us, we allow circumstances to bend us down. Listen. The first year I said, 
I will have one million naira in my account. It was in November 15th, the one million entered. I had never had one million in my account. And I'm sure none of the descendants of my family had ever had one million. Make sense? Imagine it. Walk towards it. Dream it. Believe it. Believe it is possible. I'll tell you one thing. Two, a Nigerian was imprisoned in Ghana. I mean in Cote d'Ivoire. With a fellow with an Ivorian. And the Ivorian will say, the new millennium will not meet me in prison. And he was the head of the prison fellowship. He said, the new millennium will not meet me in prison. The Nigerian said, the way you will take come out this prison, now we start to take come out. The way you will leave this prison. That was in uh, 1999. So if the, if the Ghanaian is going to the toilet, he will wait at the door. You still there? We will hear his voice. Like that, January they were in prison, February they were in prison, November they were in prison, December 1st they were in prison, December 30th, the last day, is it 31st? December 31st, 10 o'clock they were in prison. December 31st by 12, armored cars came and broke the prison gate. They were led by Bagbo. Bagbo. Broke the prison to set his friends free. And as they broke the prison, they released all the prisoners. As the uh, Ivorian was going, Nigerian followed. He shared the testimony in the full gospel business men's fellowship chapter when the owner of um, Crunchies and Azodo was the president. It looked impossible, but he visualized it. It looked difficult, but he visualized it. God is a protocol breaker. Let's stand up to pray. Does it make sense? Okay. So what prayers are we going to pray? God, reconfigure my mind to know who I am in Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. God, reconfigure my mind to know who I am in Christ. Do you know that joint heads means co-signatories? Joint heads means co-signatories. You are co-signatories to the account of the kingdom. Joint heads. And because the man who made you joint heads is dead, you are the only other authorized signatory. And the will of a dead man cannot be changed. Then why are you poor? God, reconfigure my mind. Why are witches still your problem? Why are demons still your problem? Why is smoking still your problem? Do spirits smoke? Why is sexual immorality and masturbation still your problem? You are a spirit. But you are living in the flesh. And flesh has had dominion over you. The greatest freedom is the ability to say no to sin. The ability to be different from the pervading environment. In fact, the word church means ecclesia. It means to be carved out. Your ability to be different from your family members, different from a typical Nigerian. I don't behave like a typical Nigerian. I don't behave like a typical African. I don't go late to places. I don't suffer from colored people's time syndrome. You are going to pray that your understanding of who you are in Christ be enlightened. He said, I pray that your understanding be enlightened to know the depth, the height, and the width of God's love towards you. I want you to start setting yourself free from the imagery of your parents. 
You are not intelligent. Thomas Edison was said not to be intelligent, but the electric bulb, several other things, general electric and all that. Set your mind free from being a black man who is, a, who is parasitic on the Western world. Set your intellect free that when you meet any white man, when you speak, he will respect you. You must not look like any other person. Set your mind free from idolizing stupid people like Tante Dico, stupid people who show their sex movies in, uh, 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 on screen. Set your mind free from people who are not like you. In Nigeria, we are copying and mimicking people who are not supposed to be listened to. Set your mind free from the frustration of the government of this country. Tell yourself, I can still be successful. I can still do well. I can still live well. Set your mind from religious limitations. I am going to pray. Any lousy relationship that is holding me down. Any lousy relationship that is limiting me. Any friend that is wasting my time. How can you engage a girl for 16 years? You are not marrying her. What's wrong with you? You want her to go to menopause first? Set your life free from any regimentation routine. Doing the same thing, the same way, in the same place with the same people. Brother, to live Abba is not easy. To live Abba was not easy. I stayed there for 15 years, had my children there. Even Butland, but I left. It's just something you need to walk away from. So that you can see a new thing. The Bible says, when Naomi saw... The Ruth was determined to go with her. She stopped urging her. I know you have laughed, but great messages don't make great people, only great decisions. Can you begin to make decisions? Can you make decisions based on what you heard tonight? God wants to hear your decision. Can you tell God the decision you've made? What decision are you making? This is the moment to tell God your decision. God, I'm deciding. God, I'm deciding. Tonight, I'm asking for your help. This is my commitment.